and welcome back to my channel. It is me, Angie B, and I am back with the Twist series. I know you guys really, really loved my box braid series. So I thought, now that I have twists, I could do a twist series. This is actually the first time in my life that I've ever done twists, and I think this is my new thing. Like, twists are for me. I like them, they're quick, they're easy, they're awesome, but let me not ramble on too much. Before we get serious, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you guys aren't already subscribed because I post like interesting videos, you know, at least that's what I think. <laughs> and I'm going to try my best to be posting more, more often. My life has just been kind of hectic right now, but you guys just let me know what other kind of videos you'd like to see as well. But for now, all you need to do is hit that subscribe button. It is free. And you can hit the red bell icon that's right next to it, which makes sure that you get your notifications right on time. Like if I post this video right now, you're gonna get it now, not like four days later. So make sure you hit that bell icon as well. But let's get straight into the video. So if you saw the title, then you know. By the way, my braids are pretty long, my twists. And this is just gonna be a video on how to get flowy braids. So as you can see, they're really flowy like if I turn they're pretty flowy you know what I mean and the reason why I'm making this video is because I have actually never seen one so I just figured out you know what I think I need to make a video on this because I had seen quite a few people with these kind of twists or braids and their hair was so like flowy and the braids were moving when they walk and then I'm like how come when I get like braids or I see other people with twists they're just kind of like stiff and some people like that look actually some it looks like more natural like if it's very textured but for the smooth type of hair I just wondered like I like it when it moves you know it looks like you know it has some flow to it the most difficult part which is my first tip is this I think is the best tip for people who are planning to get their braids and they want flowy braids not exactly for people who already have them in and the reason why I'm saying this is because for now I'm recommending the texture of the hair that you get so if you guys know my channel, I've had maybe quite a few videos, maybe two different types of braids on this channel. And I always use the same type of wigs. I have been persuaded to get other type of wigs. I've actually taken another type back to the store because I kind of just can't go back. So I use Kinecolon Fiber Hair. It is the Expression brand. That is my favorite brand. And they are sort of different versions now. It almost seems like the brand expression has become like kinecal on fiber like you find hair that i don't know that you can call it fake but it's basically the same thing it says expression but it's a different brand so expression is also sort of like the type of hair now and that is my favorite hair to use it seems like it has like a quite a textured formula to it or yeah it's, it seems quite textured but when you dip it in water and everything which I'll explain later, the texture completely changes. So let me just show you some of the leftovers of what I used so you can see. I'll also try to get um, a picture of the packet so that I can put it somewhere here so you guys can see, sorry, the light keeps changing. So you guys can see um, what the types of packets look like that I usually use. So for the hair, for the brown one, which is most of this, this is what the hair looks like. I hope you guys can see up close, but like, it's quite shiny it's not one of those that looks like um, like natural hair like before oil you know kind of like a matte ish texture it's not like that so it's definitely more on the shiny side you can see that and if you look through the texture I can't really zoom in right now but I'll try it it's quite rough it looks a little smooth on camera but like if I run my fingers through it you see that it's quite hard to do it's quite rough and then for the highlights I used this color which is a number 27 but honestly guys just remember that number 27 this is just a side note number 27 is different depending on the brand because this one is like a more gold but like light like it has ashy undertones right and this is the kind of blonde that I like so it's got ashy undertones but number 27 in expressions is more of a yellow 
This one is also a similar texture to the brown one. So it's slightly stiffer, um, slightly on the harder side. And this one I believe is called Doremi or something like that. I think it's Doremi. And yeah, it's also very similar texture. So that's number one. Get the texture of hair. Pick the right texture first. Now for tip number two, after you've picked the right texture, or let's say maybe you haven't picked the best texture, what you're going to do is after you braid your hair, the same day or the next day if you want, by the way, these tips go well for twists and box braids, if I didn't mention that. If you want these nice flowiness, what you need to do is dip your hair in hot, hot water. And I don't mean like warm water, it shouldn't be warm enough for you to touch with your hands. So also, you need to be careful. I suggest you get someone to help you. I always get someone to help me because I don't know whether I should say I'm a wimp or what, but I do not play with hot water. I'm a better safe than sorry kind of girl. I don't play with hot water. So I'll either have my friend or my mom help me. So what I will do is I will get like a bucket and I will put like almost boiling water in the tub and I'll put quite a lot of it in and then I will lean back. I don't usually lean forward just because I'm scared I'm gonna burn my face and ain't nobody want that, okay? So I will usually just, I'll do this. I'll put all my hair back. And by the way, don't come for me. I know my hair is looking a slight bit crusty. And that is because I've had these twists in for two weeks and life caught up with me and I couldn't film this video, okay? so. They'll come for me anyway so I will put all my hair back like this I would dip my head all the way back and I will put as much hair as I can in the boiling water and that's usually about up to maybe here or even here but I leave my head in the water tilted for like a full minute now I don't think you can kind of stay longer than that unless you're sitting and the bucket is like lifted to your braids or something because of course you're dipping your hair in water it's gonna get heavy so you don't want to break your neck so i would dip my head in there for like a minute and although the water only reaches here because the water is so hot the steam is going to rise up and it will still soften the top part of my hair so after that is all dipped i will get a towel and i will wrap it and this is also a tip to not make your braids get curly at the ends because i know lots of people like that look and maybe i'll like it one day but right now i like my braids to be bone straight all the way till the end i do not like that curly kind of thing but if you want it to be curly then you know you can do your thing but this is for the straight ones so what you do is get a towel and you wrap it around your hair straight make sure it's all straight down like this and then you squeeze out the water with the towel squeeze 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 all the way to the bottom of the hair and keep it straight and squeeze out until you've got out as much water as possible and then you can just sort of leave the braids um, to dry and yeah so I really like the way the hair feels instantly your hair is like soft and it is flowy and that is basically the number one major tip dip the hair in hot water I have braided like a little bit of hair that's sort of like this one, like Doremi, it's a little bit of a harder texture. And what I noticed with that one is, when I dip my hair in the hot water, the texture, oh, I forgot to say, when you dip it, the texture becomes like a completely different type of wig. It's like completely smooth, all the roughness and everything comes out of it. So with this one, well, a similar type to this one, when I dip my hair in the water, the hair felt much, much softer, but the texture didn't change. So if you're just looking to soften the hair, it's still going to work, but I can guarantee that if you didn't get Kinecolon fiber hair or expression, the versions of that, I can guarantee that the texture is going to change and become this flowy, but it still will make your braids much, much softer. So this is the end of the video. And this is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you didn't hit that subscribe button in the beginning of this video, make sure you hit it now. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to comment what you'd like to see next on my channel in the comment section below. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!